Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marielle. For those of you who are new here, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Today we're going to be doing this kind of smoky green eye. I kind of use it almost like a bluish gray color on the outer edge to kind of switch it up a little bit. Nude lip, really just natural and fresh skin. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Thanks guys. All right, you guys, so today we're going to be doing this kind of pirate look. I'm just kidding. Uh, it's kind of a holiday look because the, the, I did like a halo eye, but a darker one. So the middle is a shimmery green color, uh, and you'll see that kind of later on in the video. But we're going to recreate it on this eye, and then we'll do the rest of the face. Tonight I am going to a Christmas party with my sister and a couple of our friends, so it should be fun. I wanted to do something a little bit more festive. Uh, so yeah, let's see what happens. So first off, I had makeup on earlier and I wiped it off. I'm going to use this um, sun shield stick from this brand called Earthly. It's basically a mix of really great oil. So it has olive oil, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, virgin raspberry seed oil, mango butter, and a couple other things. I'm just gonna put this on the face, kind of make it a, a primer. I'm super dry, so I like to be um, hydrated. I don't care if that means oily. I don't mind it at all. I'm just gonna rub this in. My face feels like a cactus if I don't put something on it. I'll just kind of give that time to soak in. Next. See how shiny I am, but some people might hate it if they're oily. I love it. I love it. All right. My brows are done already, and so we're just going to move along. I'm going to start with the eyes today, which I don't normally do, but for the heck of it. So I'm going to prime my lid with the Fit Glow Beauty Concealer. Blend that out. Beauty blender. Or this is a real technique sponge. Actually, not a, not a beauty blender, but these are really great. And you can get, these are like six bucks each, or you can get a two pack for ten bucks. So, and they're super squishy. The beauty blender is softer, I will say that, but that works just as well. This is my cat just falling into a box. Um, so, I'm going to take, let's see. I'm just gonna take this fluffy brush and dip into my Pacifica Nudes palette in this color right here to set the lid. Okay, that's good. So now I'm gonna take the second shade here do that in the crease using this super fluffy brush from Jenna Taylor. I got this set at Marshall's for I think like six bucks and it had a couple brushes in it and this was one of them and I really really like it so I'm just going to fluff this all over the crease just to give us a transition shade and then I'm going to take this guy right here in the middle also throw that in the crease using the same brush. Okay. That's what we're looking like. Pretty basic right at the moment. So now I'm going to actually take this Pacifica Beachy Punk palette fun and I'm gonna take this color right here it's kind of like a grayish blue color so I thought that'd be cool to kind of mix in with the green I like the way that it turned out so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna go and put the color on the outer corner and the inner corner and leave the center uh, empty so dip into that I have this brush is a little bit tapered on the end and we're just gonna pat that into the outer edge of the outer corner this is this color is super pigmented too, so 
I don't have to do too much to like build it up. See that? So you just have to keep, as you blend it, you'll pat it and like kind of pack it, the color on it and then kind of blend it out. And then I'm going to drag it out like a little bit. Give it a little bit of a different shape. That's what it looks like so far. Then we're going to take that same color and pack it in the inner corner. Using that same brush. It's tapered enough to get into this area, which is nice. You don't have to use a completely different brush. So that's what we're looking like. The center part is blank because we're going to put a different color in there. We're going to put the green in there. So I'm going to leave it like this for now and then. Once we have the green, we can kind of build it up to match the other side. So what I'm going to do, before I do anything else, though, I need to put something on my lips. So I'm going to use this Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. And my lips hate when I use anything pretty much that isn't a chapstick or a lip gloss. So if I use a lipstick or liquid lip or something like that, my lips will get really chapped. So this saves my lips. It's super thick and it smells delicious like vanilla. They have different flavors, I think, and possibly different like shades. This is just a clear one, just to keep my lips from feeling real dry. So now, on that same Beachy Punk palette, I'm gonna take this green color and use it as a base. I'm gonna use this flat brush. And I'm just gonna run it down the center. I think it looks cool even just like this. If it was like summer or I don't know, whatever you feel like wearing something like this too. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna use like a darker shimmery green on top of this. I'm kind of just using this as a base. And you can see the difference in like how dark this color is that we're gonna put on top of it. So I'm actually just gonna flip this brush over and use the shimmery green on that side. So the green I'm gonna use is from the Smashbox um, holiday palette I got last year, and it's gonna be that middle green shade. I think it's called STFU, which we all know what that means. Shut the French up. Um, so I am gonna use this, and when I initially did my left eye, I didn't wet the brush at all. I just let the, um, I just put it on dry. And so I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you kind of the difference. I'm just gonna pack that over. That goes in there. You can kind of see the difference and now I'm going to pack a little bit more on here and I'm just going to spray it with whatever this mix spray to wet it a little bit and we'll pack out and it gives you this more intense kind of darker green color which I really like both ways is fine um, but for the sake of matching them we'll do this so you can see it all all right, so now this is what we're looking like. So I think the tops are good. We're gonna work on the lower lash line. And for that, I took this medium brown shade, ran it along the lower lash line using, brush to maybe, let's use this fluffier one. take our blue gray shade and we'll just use the brush we used on before just keep it on the pointer all right so on this guy 
I am going to just take that same blue color and run that uh, all along the lower lash line. And then we will take our green shade in the Smashbox palette on take out this little guy here and just run that kind of in the middle, right underneath where it is on the upper lid. I don't know that you can see it really that much, but it's okay. I'm going to take this black pencil that saved my last look and I'm going to run it along my lower waterline. put some mascara on. I'm going to use my Well People mascara. Nice and close. My little mirror here. This look is so dark you can barely even see my lashes anyway, but this is what we're looking like. And now we will move on to the to the face. And for that, I'm gonna use my Josie Marin foundation. Again, the Vibrancy Foundation in the color RG30. I'm just gonna pump this onto the back of my hand. And take my real technique sponge and blend it in. concealer under the eye. I'm we'll keeping it a little bit lower since we already did eyeshadow. We don't want to put concealer on that like we did the foundation. Look. Oh, 
could help if I had blended this guy down here. Now that we've gotten our lives together, <laughs> I'm going to take some powder, powder this down a little bit, if I can find it. Here it is. Here's a Tarte uh, Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. I've been using it more. I had it um, in my drawer. And I don't use powder too much because, like I said, I'm pretty dry. Um, so. I'm just take the back of my beauty blender, tap it out on the back of there, and we'll just go over where we put concealer. I'm going to go over the bronzer a little bit. powder flying around over here. Lots of powder. So now that the face is all powdered down, it's definitely more matte, but it's not completely matte. I'm going to put some concealer in here because it got pretty dark in this area here, so i just put a dot. Just to brighten that up in the inner. Tiny little brush. I don't know that that really did too much. I don't know. We're back. I got a phone call and I film on my phone so you can see how that doesn't necessarily work out. Um, so we powdered everything down and now I think the bronzer is super subtle because we've powdered over it so I'm going to go in with powder bronzer and I'm going to use the Alima Pure Mauna Loa bronzer. Oof. Um, this is the brush I got from 100% Pure. It's this big fluffy guy. It's super soft um, and it is a powder brush, the F. 50. So I'm going to try to use this for bronzer. Ooh, there's so much in the lid. I just want to tap it like a little bit and there's probably way too much in there. So I'm going to tap a lot of it off if I can. See. I'm going to tap some of it off in the back of my hand and then we will to blush which is one of my favorite parts of doing my makeup and I think I'm gonna use this color Trist from Honey Bee Garden and I like to use um, this big Real Techniques brush it is actually a blush brush so that works out I feel like it's just nice it's not like too dense and it doesn't pack on too much product you can kind of easily just kind of lightly put your blush on. We just kind of drag it. Again, I'm still just patting it like lightly. Together. And there 
color. Look at that. Look at flush. It just gives you like a nice flush of color. It makes you look alive again. And I love it. I'm here for it. I've also been loving this Josie Marin color stick in the color Rosie. It's like a jumbo stick and it's beautiful. This is the color of the blush. It's more pink in person. Um, but this paired with their tinted moisturizer that I mentioned uh, is a bomb combination and I pretty much wear it every day. It's a little bit of highlight, cream highlight, and mascara. And brows, of course. All right, let's see. I really like how the face is looking. I think it looks really good. Um, I'm really happy with it. Skin is looking fresh. Uh, let's see. Let me touch up my brows really quick. I got my little 100% pure pot here. And just a narrow, like an angled brush. We'll just clean things up a little bit. crazy bent spoolie. It didn't come bent, but it's bent now and I just let it live its best life. And then I'm going to do the little hairspray trick just to keep them in place. I don't know about you, but my brow hair likes to grow down. So throughout the day they just fall and that drives me crazy. I think we're good on that end. So I think I'm gonna spray my face with a little bit of um, setting spray. Oops. Where is it? Where is it? So I'm gonna use the Smashbox Primer Water. Using a setting spray, kind of, especially if you use a lot of powder products like we did today, it helps kind of everything melt together so it doesn't look powdery and it looks more natural. I need something to fan myself. Big pack away. Shocking that didn't work. Uh, I'm gonna dip into my RMS Luminizer Quad and I've really been enjoying tricked me again. Is that it? Here it is. So I have two quads. One of them's all highlighters. One of them's like a mix of different face products. They always trick me. I always pick the wrong one. So I'm going to go into the Luminizer Nude and just pop it right here on the cheeks. I've really been enjoying this because it's really subtle, but you can still get like a really nice glow to the skin. I just apply it with my finger. A little bit on the chin. There it is. There she is. So I really enjoy that. And I think I might just put one of these highlighters on my brow bone instead. Let me see what I want to use. I use this tiny little guy and I'll probably just go into their Living Luminizer, which is their most um, popular highlight. It's 
subtle, but it's there. Let me go back over to this trouble corner, the troubled child. Let me touch it up a little bit. All right, so this is pretty much the face all complete. I really love it. I'm excited to go out uh, tonight with it. And I'm gonna use my kind of new favorite liner, which is the Honey Bee Gardens Lip Liner in Perfection. You can see it. And it can be compared, so I have this ColourPop one, it's pretty close. Uh, in the color wherever walnut from Makeup Forever, not color pop, Makeup Forever. So I bought this one and then immediately I was like, oh, I should probably find an organic dupe for it. So let me take this red lip off my hand and let me swatch these for you guys because I think they're a pretty good dupe. So that's the, the yeah, Makeup Forever one. And then there it is. And this is the Honey Bee Gardens one. So the Honey Bee Gardens one is, so this is the Makeup Forever one. This is the Honey Bee Gardens one. It's a little bit darker, but I don't mind that. Um, so we're just gonna line our lips with this. I use a sharpener, but that's okay. it this really needs to be sharpened I'm gonna hurt myself. Uh, we could throw something lighter so I'm gonna give it a little bit of dimension and throw something a little bit lighter in the center so I'm gonna use a Jeffree Star liquid lip in skin tight and we're just gonna dab that in the center Pat it. You can see it just gives you like a little bit of a lighter color. Let's look at my viewfinder. Yeah, so if you like a matte lip, this is good. Let me put my hair down. So this is what we have. I really like it. I like the eyes a lot actually more than I probably thought I was going to. So this if you want a matte lip I'm going to put the 100% pure gemmed lip gloss on top in the color Rainbow Aura. It's not super like overly glossy, but it keeps it from being one dry and two super matte if you don't love a matte lip. So I like it both ways. I think it looks good. I'm super pumped to go out in this look. Super pumped to sport my Let It Snow Christmas sweater. I'm sure that'll be a hit. Uh, so yeah, this is the look we got. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Just hit that little red button underneath the video. And give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Comment down below, maybe what state you're from. Let me know, we get to know each other. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Bye.